another testimony of if God is for you, who can be against you? This has been a round of the century. I was not supposed to win this. So now you guys are listening because we did win. And I can glorify God the way I want to glorify him. Welcome, welcome, welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. We are we are back uh, with quick hits. Um, we're gonna break it down the Canelo performance, uh, what it all means. Um, obviously, undisputed, some middleweight champion, defends all of his, his belts. Um, before we get into it, before we really break it down, let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Please like, share, and subscribe. Um, also, subscribe to our other channel, Texas Boxing, seen on YouTube. All proceeds from uh, that channel go to Autism Research and Recovery. That's Texas Boxing, seen on YouTube. All right. Um, Canelo picks up a unanimous decision. I, I think in a fairly lackluster performance and what was somewhat of a dull fight. It was especially dull compared to the first two. Um Really not much to talk about. Um, I, I, well, that's not so. Triple G, completely shot. We kind of knew that in the Murata fight. Like, he hasn't been looking like the Triple G of old. He's 40 years old now. Um, it's it's over for Triple G. Um, I, I think we're going to see him again. Because he lost a decision close on the cards. To uh, We're going to get into those cards. Because I, 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 they're not great. They're not the worst cards I've ever seen. Um, but he, he lost close. Triple G lost close on the cards to Canelo. He, you're, we're going to see him again. Like, he still thinks he's got it. He still thinks he's there. He, he's going to push for another big fight. I, I don't know if he'll ask for a fourth fight, but we'll see. Uh, I don't think he does. He's 0-2-1 now. But uh, on to the cards. And then we're going to get into into Canelo. If you scored the first round, the eighth, uh, ninth round, tenth round, twelfth round, you could do that. You you could one nine ten twelve, it's eight four. So two of the judges had one other judge found some other round to give him. It's not a great card. It's not. He probably didn't win all those rounds. Probably didn't win the four. Seven, three, eight, two is um, ten round fight. Nine, three, or ten, two is probably the the best card. Eight, four, I don't think is unreasonable. Seven, five, it's not a good card. That's not a good card. Um, eight, four. I don't think is it's it's not great. It's not terrible either. There are a way worse cards than, than eight four. Um, there are rounds again. Like, look, no one is saying otherwise. Canelo won the fight. Um, I, I think one fourteen, one thirteen, seven to five. But one point loss for Bam Rodriguez is worse than any of these Canelo cards. Honestly, um, you you could say Israel Gonzalez fought. Well, and better than expected, he wasn't winning the rounds. Um, Dave Sutherland and Steve, oh, it was 116, 112, and 115, 113 times two. I'm sorry, guys. I thought it was 116, 112 times two. It was 115, 113. Steve Weisfeld um, is a terrible judge. We said that. Dave Moretti is a terrible judge. We said that. We did a video on this. Dave Sutherland. We said, you know, it's a question mark. And uh, he handed in a terrible card, right? So we had two terrible cards and one kind of bad card in the 116, 112. Moretti actually had the best card here. Um, Guys, scoring fights hard. It's not that hard. All right, so into in, into Canelo. Everyone's talking about how Triple G is shot. Triple G is shot. So is Canelo. Canelo is not the same fighter. The best of Canelo is behind us. I think we can... Put that out there. Now, how much is left? Still a lot. Still enough to beat most fighters. There's still plenty left to, to beat most guys in the sport. But you saw him fade. Um, what we even saw in the Caleb Plant fight, the explosiveness. 
I didn't see it. Right? The body attack was slowed down. It was tampered. Um, the footwork, he's not moving. He's not moving as much on his feet. Um, he just looks like an older version of himself. And he's not old, right? Like, he's not old. But his best days are behind him. Yeah, he's 32, but he's only 32. You know, it's not young. It's not old, right? Uh, he's kind of at the tail end of his prime. You know, we're going to have probably four more years of him by till he's 36, I would guess. So we're going to get about eight more Canelo fights. we get used to it. Like, we're, we're going to see Canelo, and we're not going to see him at his best. And, you know, again, he, he could probably m beat most people. Um, you know, you look at the landscape of the super middleweight division, he's already kind of run through it outside of Andre now. Um you know, who do you really want him to fight at 68? There's really not that many names there. So, uh, Ali Akhmadov, I, I guess, is, is they're going to try to make that. Um, you know, you go through the landscape. She's Vladimir Shishkin, Leron Richards. I, I mean, Carlos Gongora, right? I mean, these are kind of the names there. Um it's not a loaded division. Oh, Zach Parker. Zach Parker could, you know, win that fight. Um, he could. Um, there's a Cuban, William Skull. I, I don't know much about him. Apparently people like him. Um, but this is not a, a loaded division, and, 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 the, and the better names in the division he's already beaten. So I, I do expect just, you know, Canelo, I, I don't think he'll fight um, Bavol. You know, Canelo said, Eddie Hearn told me I had to fight uh, Triple G. A Eddie Hearn doesn't tell you anything. You're Canelo. He asked nicely, okay? Like, stop. He didn't, you know, you can fight whatever you want. You you wanted to fight Triple G because it's an easier fight, a fight you would win, and a big payday, and, and you got those things, which is, it is what it is. It's fine. It's your career. Nothing wrong with that. Um, But... Yeah, I don't think we're going to get a Bavol rematch um, unless Bavol wants to come down to 68. You know, I, I don't think he would do that, that, that he's the man at 75. So, um, you know, these are the kind of names we're looking at. You know, uh, honestly, he says he's not going to fight any more Mexican fights. I, I don't know, man. Um, but look at the landscape. Andre could realistically be next. Like he could get, if, if Andre and look, I'm not, I'm going to do, I'm going to do a, a, a scouting report on Zach Parker. Zach Parker is good. Really good. Zach Parker might win that fight, but you know, Zach Parker, Andre, you know, I, I, who else? He's not it, allegedly, apparently he's not fighting Mexicans, other Mexicans. So Benavides is out, you know, LaRon Richards. Is that a fight you want to see? You know, um, he, he just adds out Gungora. Um, this is what we have here. Like, the, the, these are the kind of fights that, you know, we, we, we have for him at this point. It's not great. Um, unless Charlo wants to come up or something like that. And, you know, I, I don't know where all that's going to happen on, on, you know, two different promotional sides of the street. But let me know what you guys think. You know, this is kind of what we're looking at here with Canelo. I, I, I think Canelo is shot. I think Canelo's best days are behind him. I think he looked aged. I think he looked faded. And I, I think it's this Canelo or worse moving forward, which which is still good enough to beat maybe anyone in that division. So let me know what you guys at 168. Let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow me on 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, all forms of social media. And please subscribe to our other channel, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. That's Texas Boxing Scene um, on YouTube. All proceeds go through to autism research and recovery. Uh, it is September 18th, 2022. From Texas to the world, thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.